divided city is like a person with one hand missing or one leg or I don't know, one eye. You know, there is something missing. In Nicosia, if you want to go to a place over there, you have to go round and round, and even so, you never go there. You go just near. It's not natural to walk in Nicosia and find streets with a dead end. For that matter, see houses within a city being divided. You can go into one part of the house and you cannot go to the other part. This blocking affects your mental situation. Uh, you feel suffocating. By extension, I refer to the whole of the island as a house, it's our house. We go to the living room, but there is a line and we cannot go to the bedrooms. This is Cyprus. At 1974, the clashes began. Turkish invasion took place. When the second invasion started, the Greek Cypriots from the nearby villages apparently came to our village. They all gathered the women and children and massacred them. I lost my mother, my two sisters and two brothers. Around 30 people from my family have been killed in this massacre. my father and my brother missing since 74. After the um, second invasion, there were sh some shootings in the village from the Turkish Cypriots, and they tried to capture the village. They kept my father there and my brother as prisoners, and from what they explained to us is to keep them there for a few days, for two or three days, until the Turkish army passed from the village, so they won't capture and kill them. Time was passing in the years, and we came to now, and we don't have any information about them. We try to determine the biological profile, the remains. Until DNA, we don't know if they are Turkish Cypriot or Greek Cypriot. For us, they are all missing people, and we try to help them to meet their families. I think this is the important thing. In 2006, I did something crazy. I have two mobiles, one Greek Cypriot, one Turkish Cypriot. I sit, set up a hotline with my own mobiles through the help of my Greek Cypriot and Turkish Cypriot readers. We managed to put to the surface all the information about missing persons because the relatives have a right to know. Why keep it a secret? It happened 50 years ago. They have a right to know what happened to their loved ones, where he was killed, where he was buried, who did this? I didn't have any grudge or any hatredness about the Greek Cypriot as a community. I knew that uh, there are always that kind of sick people in any community. There are same-minded people in our side as well against the Greek Cypriots. And the, the, those things have happened in both sides. Stegnos 
σε ξανά το δάκρυ μέσα στη ψυχή και έγινε αλμύρα στην πληγή. Second thing I achieved is bringing together the relatives all missing. Each side was victimizing itself and they thought they were the victim and they were crying for their own pain. So I tried to show them the pain is exactly the same. It's not any different. <laughs> when uh, Sevilai explained to me the whole story of her family, and I explained to her my story, and that we are all looking for our missing, we became closer. We started being uh, very good friends. <laughs> Sharing the pain with the people of other community relieves your pain. This is important. But does this take us to a peace, to a unification? I don't believe in towns which are permanently divided because I believe that man is a social animal. At some stage, you will manage to talk to the other person or to visit or to do things like that and once you start this <clears throat> then if you still belong to the same country inevitably uh, you have to accept the fact that uh, you have to cross and go there and do all these things we live on the same island we breathe the same air it's the same culture <laughs> it's the same water it's the same food, it's the same animals, it's the same plants. If we don't realize this, it's one island. It's not two islands, it's one island. Then forget the future. <laughs>